Well, in Corpus Christi are bracing for barrel, of course, with that hurricane watch in place right now. We know officials have handed out more than 10,000 sandbags to people living along the coast so they can be ready. That is where we find our Jason Allen. Jason, we know earlier you were out on the beach seeing folks out there kind of just enjoying the day. But has anything changed in the last few hours? It, it really hasn't, Nicole. It's been a very nice evening, a warm evening here in Corpus Christi. There's a breeze that's coming off the water here. You see people back there enjoying the night. There was an art walk, art fair in town, and everybody really enjoying this uh, portion of their holiday weekend. You mentioned the beach, and we were out there. We'll show you some video. We were out there this afternoon, just a few miles away from where we are. The beach was packed, both on Mustang Island and on Padre Island. The people we talked to, for the most part, saying right now, they're not changing their plans. They're enjoying what's left of this four day holiday weekend. And, you know, to that point, both local officials and state officials today, they wanted people to do that, right? They made plans to come here. They made plans to visit. They come to the beach, enjoy the weekend. But there is some concern with that because they're afraid of people maybe not paying attention to the news and paying attention to what is developing several hundred miles to the south. So that was part of the reason for the disaster declaration today to start to get people's attention. As you see now, there are some people that are starting to pay attention to this. We saw this late this afternoon, a business owner who was starting to board things up. This was not something he told us that earlier in the day he expected to do. But as Jeff told you about those changing tracks, that started to change people's behavior here. As the days progressed, it looks like it keeps coming a little bit more and more north. And now it's us. We've got to start worrying about it. And this just takes time. So we just want to make sure that if it does come our way, that we're prepared. Yeah, he told me that he would much rather be in a position, Nicole, where he puts all that stuff up and then doesn't need it and has to take it down rather than be caught when the storm's here and it's too late. And now, as Jeff just showed us, Corpus Christi is wondering, you know, is the storm going to come here or is this going to end up impacting communities that are further up the coast? Mm -hmm. We'll see over the next few hours as this thing continues to churn. That is the... That is the thing that happens with these storms. The cone can be one direction one day and another the next. So we'll be watching and waiting. Jeff, uh, Jason, thank you so much for the update.